Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to London, England again. Um, a lot of my channel is based on solo travel because I travel alone most of the time and because I... This lifestyle I have is, is not conducive, if that's the right word, for maintaining <laughs> relationships and friendships with people. So um, I do most things myself and I'll get really lonely sometimes. And I know just the cure for that. I'm going to take myself on a solo date. I do this often and I guess this is just traveling solo. You're kind of always just taking yourself out. <laughs> uh, I have kind of a plan in my head. It'll probably all go wrong. These things usually do. There will be some reason why things don't work out and then I'll get really anxious and then I'll just want to scurry back home. This is how I operate. Um, if you don't know, I have a lot of, not social anxiety, but just anxiety in general where um, I just get um, really tired out from so much stimulation and that's mainly what it is. I can be social, it's fine. I wanna take myself to a museum. It's free. <laughs> I'm a cheap date. <laughs> a cheap skate and a cheap date together. So I, it's great for me. <laughs> and then I want to get myself some coffee. It's very important. I'm probably not gonna get food because I have food here and I don't wanna be spending extra money. I want to go to some sort of quirky little shop um, I looked up one, I don't know if they're open today, because today is Sunday, that it's like this monster, um, weird little shop thing that they sell like monster things in jars and stuff. I don't know much about it, but I, th I thought I would take myself there as a little surprise because I am surprising myself as I have no idea. I don't plan very well, so it's a surprise to me. <laughs> Your stuff on dating isn't exciting. I know, that's why you date me every single day. Yeah, yeah, that is why I'm here with you, nobody else. So let's go out. Oh, I want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today for my date. So I'm wearing uh, a dress. Uh, sorry, I kind of flip this, but and then I'm going to, I have to put on a jacket because although it's not as cold as um, America is right now, it's a little chilly. It's probably around 45 degrees Fahrenheit and which is not bad for January. And the sun's actually meant to come out today. So that's really exciting. I need to go catch the sun. That's the main thing I wanna do for myself. Whether nothing else works out, as long as I can catch the sun, that's good. So this is a very, I feel like this outfit's a very British London outfit to wear. So that's kind of why I wanted to show it to you. Sorry for the tears, but this I can demonstrate what I mean by this. Um, since it's pretty cold, you still wanna like look like you're not like, you, you don't need, you don't want to dress for the cold, do you know what I mean? But you want to be warm. So I got some nude colored fleece lined leggings to put on. And then I just put these stockings over top to make it look like these are my real legs, but they're not. I'm actually very warm in that. Isn't that smart? I'm very proud of myself um, because I'm trying to stay warm. I, I don't normally do that for myself. I want to look classy and fancy for myself because we're in London after all. So sometimes you'll just have to be doing things by yourself. And in my case, it's mostly everything. So here we go, walking, walking. <laughs> uh, act like I know everything about British people, English people, it's very, British thing to do. Like, that's what you do. You go and you go for a walk. And you walk. And you talk. That's the way here. <laughs> so we're heading towards the train station now, the underground. My favorite place. I love trains. <laughs> I love to ride on them. I don't train watch, but I like planes more, so maybe I'll try and fly one. But let's get to the underground to get to the British Museum. One right way. It's quite a lovely day. It's very beautiful out. All right, we're here. I totally forgot. I accidentally brought Pepper's bag with 
me to, to England. It's illegal here. They didn't even stop me on the plane or anything. So I had to like stick that up my sleeve while they checked my legs. History person, but last night I went on kind of like a history tour. I left early because I got kind of bored and oh, this is too much information. Ignore it. Didn't bother to blockade it or even try and stop any of the shipping traveling upstream. Links to heritage and ancestry, right? And so did look to What I'm trying to learn, at least, uh, I just have a long tension span, but try to be cultured, always. So I just realized the place that I wanted to go, it's called Monster Supplies. They're not open until Thursday, so nothing's really open to go to. So I'm just gonna go get some coffee. Oh, look, I got it. Huh? So Boots is like a pharmacy. You get everything like here. Um, very useful place, kind of like a CVS or a Rite Aid. I don't know if this is everywhere, just a UK thing, but I need to get some toothpaste. Got myself a quiche. <laughs> but I'm tired. Being in the city is tired. I'm tired. You must wear a face covering and be nose and mouth at all times when you use the TFL services and stuff. So you can see here walking is a big thing to do. <laughs> so my friends were like, hey, I'm going on a walk. Do you want to come with me? <laughs> I'm like, um, no, my feet hurt. But I am going to go get some coffee um, at the restaurant over there so we can end my date properly and not disappoint myself. Exhausting date. <laughs> Trying to keep me entertained and okay. So home. Still have my half-eaten mm, quiche. <laughs> what I did in the restaurant is I, I got these because I thought they would be interesting to show you. They're hot chocolate spoons, and you you put it in like hot milk and stir it. But I put it in my coffee there because the coffee was really strong. I just kind of mixed it in and I felt really awkward because it's a pretty fancy place. And <laughs> I don't know how to behave properly in fancy places. You stir it in and until it all melts down and you have hot chocolate. I, I'm much happier now that I had caffeine. Um, it's, it's my only vice. One of the many vices, let's be real. Oh, <laughs> we all get lucky. <laughs> I, I didn't figure out this video. I'm still up here still. <laughs> I just didn't know how to end it because every time I wanted to go to the Monster Supplies place at the early on like Thursday and I need to get this video out on Thursday. So we're not going there for my date. I'm still gonna go there before I leave and I'll show it to you, but not on this video. So I'm going on a run. I, my sleep schedule is still pretty fucked. It's cold, it's in the 30s today. 
And this is one of the more cold days. The weather here has been not too bad. Like there's been, I've seen some sun and it's definitely nowhere near as cold as it would be back in America. So I'm grateful for that. There's not a lot of sun the last few days. The way, I'm like standing here in the dark, sorry. Things don't go the way that you want them to. And so you should cease expectation in life. Words of wisdom. But yeah, I, I have fun by myself. Every day is a, a, a self-date day for me. So I don't wanna like make something just to put on a video. Every day I kinda just go out and do everything by myself. That's just what you see here on my channel. <laughs> And I wouldn't say I'm the best date to myself, but I'm also not the worst. I've tried the dating apps here in, in London and it's not that bad. You know, mostly this is a solo journey in my life so far. So, but I'm gonna go on a run right now and you guys can come with me. Let's go. Part of running cold like that is the ears. Oh, so All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. Um, if you want to see more London content, leave a like and subscribe or notifications, whatever you want to do. Maybe this is your sign to take yourself out on a date. No one can do it quite like you. Bye.